it's time for some more Avatar Legends. Part 8, Part 9, Part 10, Part who knows. I think it's Part 8. I put Part 8. If it's not Part 8, let me know. <laughs> but I th I'm pretty sure it's Part 8. It says Part 8 on the stream. Yeah, well, that's because that's what I that's what I put. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, Part well, eight. What's going on? <laughs> we we missed last week, and my apologies. I stepped on some glass, and my knee got messed up, and now here I am. Those those two aren't necessarily <laughs> correlated. Yeah, I was I was trying to figure out how you stepped on the glass, and your knee specifically. He took two d four piercing damage in real life. <laughs> My, uh, the glass wasn't too bad, but, uh, I, I went to the doctor the next day anyways for my knee, and now I'm wearing a brace and getting an MRI, so it's a, it wasn't a fun week, so to say, but you know what? Uh, we're, I can sit down while I do this, so that's what's important. Good. Yep. Uh, Stay safe. That being said, it's been two weeks, so the real question is... Salty, Lee, Jay, do you remember at all what was happening? Fuck no, I've been. It's been. It's been a t tough two weeks for me as well, man. <laughs> my brain is empty, but I, I believe I was something, something. My brother. What? I was, wow, that's a... I was having dinner with him or something to that yes. extent. Uh, oh I yeah, right. This we... page is inaccurate. You actually can should have way less fatigue, fatigue and conditions. Uh, no oh problem. yeah, I can't edit these, but I have like been keeping up with uh, my I fatigue. Have, no, I straight up have five fatigue right now. You do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then fill that back in. All right, all right. I think Good I, I don't have so. any fatigue. I think I'm empty with fatigue. Why does? Why do you have so much fatigue, Rico? Uh, didn't sleep and. Uh, oh yeah. Everybody else and, uh, I got... Yeah. <laughs> Down to some hijinks. Uh, and I and used you a got... lot of my uh, roguish charm lately. So. Yeah, and you didn't get much of a rest since that fight with uh, the dad in the place. True. The Agni Kai. Something, something, heist something. You're right, this should be named the heist, not the break-in. So, let me, let me do a recap for y'all. Uh... <laughs> Here's what happened. You met a thief named Yangtze, who, uh, you helped rob some nobles. Because Rico was a fan, yeah. That, I remember that. <laughs> uh, and then you went to an Earth Nation village to finally find some lodging, which you did, but you didn't rest because the other person at that lodging happened to be a man named Junyi, who you very, very carefully and surreptitiously divined over time is actually Yangtze. And you cooked <laughs> up a plan together to break into the home of the noblewoman here in the city, the mayor, who just so happened to kill Chunyi's lover and frame him like a decade ago. You mm -hmm. would plant... Uh, what was it? You'd plant... Oh, the, the noble people's money that was just stolen in the home and then implicate the mayor as being a collaborator with Yangtze. Uh, on top of that, right as this scheme was coming along, Hanta, Yuka's brother, arrived. <sighs> and Yuka decided to rush out to uh, abate him, and they walked off together to the home of the mayor. Evening is the, now I... falling upon the village. Yes? I'm assuming... <clears throat> the goal was to be a distraction? Question mark. I don't know. Rising tone at the end of the sentence. I think you said you were going to be a distraction. Well, I'm going to do my best. Distract <laughs> Yuka. <laughs> so now Yuka is staying with Anta and his two waterbender followers in the thing at the, at the mayor's mansion. Uh. And Junyi and Rico, Baraka, and Ahani planned to break in later that night and plant the evidence and s sneak out unseen. So that's where we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think because, well, let's let's uh, 
it's just the early evening right now, so Jun Yi, Rico, Baraka, Hani aren't actually doing anything. But I think we should cut to them first just to uh, get realigned here. So. Uh, uh, we're playing Pi Show right now until uh, we can start to get going and start planning, I guess. Jun Yi says, Hmm. You're good at Pi Show. Thank you. Uh, nearly won a tournament back in uh, back in Omashu. Is that so? He says, looking, raising an eyebrow. He looks at Baraka. I simply smile. I'll have to take his word for it. Right, says Johnny. Uh. So, <laughs> uh, honey, you're kind of terrible at this, man. I, like I, I, I thought I thought I, I'm pretty sure I showed you how to play, but you're still playing horribly. It it, it doesn't make any sense, says Ahani. Why would a lotus beat a, a fire? The fire sets it starts the lotus. How? Ah, uh, says Ahani, and it's... he like sweeps his hand, and pie show pieces fly everywhere. Whoa, dude, chill. Whoa. <laughs> Ahani storms off. Aren't, aren't air nomads supposed to be the one who's supposed to calm emotional people down? <laughs> then you shrugs. Sometimes even the softest of winds can turn into the greatest of tornadoes. I suppose so. Did you practice so what? So did you have any other plans that you wanted to tell us? Or a specific way to go in? Jenny says, "Your friend, I, your friend. She's going to be keeping them in the front, I suppose, in the lobby. I imagine so. Then, could try sneaking around the back," says Jenny. Oh, I love going through the back door. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, cool," says Jenny. <laughs> It, you seem, it, keep your minds out of the gutters, people. <laughs> you seem well practiced in this sort of thing. Going through the back door, yeah. I guess, I guess you could say I am. No, no, no. <laughs> Thievery, larceny. Oh, yeah, that too. That, yeah, it, it helps. You were a thief back in the Fire Nation too. Um, more, more or less everywhere. Jin kind Yi of a says, tra traveling band, I suppose. I see. He says, nodding. Mm-hmm. Well, uh... Yeah, a man's affairs are his own, says Jun Yi. That they are. Well then. Wait a little longer till it gets dark and the guards can't see as far. And I guess we'll get this operation underway. She's got masks. I already have one. Did, oh, did any, did any of you one. want dinner? Uh, dessert? Uh, no, I am fine, says Junyi. We are <laughs> doing fine here. We might be out late tonight. Not to be worrying, madam. Thank you for your you need anything? Yeah, it's very late. Um, yeah, very, yeah, very late. Do you need anything? Me? Yes. Oh. Ah, uh, well. Um. Well, uh, if if you're going to be out late, I'm not sure if the bazaar will still be open. But if you come across it, could you, could you bring some more yak milk? <laughs> could you give me some more cabbages? <laughs> well, I'm going to the market anyway, so I'll pick that up for you. Oh, uh, thank you, he says. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to head off to bed then. Have a wonderful night. Good night, ma'am. You're not going to the 
Sorry, you're not going to the market now, says Junyi to Baraka. Yes, you're not going to market. Stop it, says Tariko. <laughs> but it's so, it's so fun, doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo doo. <laughs> Why do you want to go to the market, says Junyi to Baraka? I'm going to pick up a, uh, a sack and I'm going to cut some eye holes in it. Make a, a mask out of it. <laughs> you put a potato sack on. Right. Yeah. Well, that should do fine. I'll look either really stupid or really intimidating. Oh, we're making masks, says Ahani. Can I... I can I just... He, he just takes like a... A shred of cloth and like wraps it around his face like a mummy with only his eyes and nose peeking out. <laughs> hey, he's getting it. You might want to cover your tattoo, says Junyi. Oh, says Ahani. Uh, he picks up some straw from the bedding and like puts it on his head and ties it with some string. Oh, I thought yeah, he, he, oh, I thought he covered like the head tattoo as well with it. With it, well, if he wrapped it like that, like the crown of his head would still be poking out. Oh, okay, could make some mud and cover up your tattoos, like makeup. We we're gonna need to get him some gloves as well because of his hands. I'm not an earthbender, he says to Baraka. Don't put mud on my face. Oh, I, I give him a long look. <laughs> I'm going to go to the market now. What did I say, says Ahani? Uh, I think I think you offended him. I think it's... Did I thought it was do funny. That here? Do what here? <laughs> Put mud on their face? I don't think that's what... I don't think earthbenders do that. From my experience, I've never seen an earthbender put mud on their face for no reason. Yeah... You really haven't left the temple much, have you, says Jim? I think this is his first time. I, I mean, I, I, let's, let's cut to the, uh, the inside of the, the fine mansion. Very Fire Nation-y. Uh, nah, it's just red. <laughs> Fire Nation doesn't have, like, dibs on the color red. Yeah. Just because... Just as, as a Fire Nation man, I say Fire Nation has dibs on all kinds of red. <laughs> well, then you're not allowed to use blue, so... take that. Good, I don't like blue. <laughs> wow. Lies? Who doesn't like a blue? The dragon it's like the simple. water of colors. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the mayor leads you in. The dragon is a symbol of power, of heat and strength. So, we of the of the, how did I did I name this family? <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> I don't think you did. <laughs> it's kind of, it's almost like remember. a running gag at this point that they're just unnamed. So, <laughs> my we have the blue family. It's the it's the family. And so the um, uh, family <laughs> has we has adopted it as a symbol. I know we're of the Earth Kingdom, but that doesn't mean we can't, you know, think outside the box. Yeah, I've I've recently gotten round round to thinking outside the box, you know. So I that's uh, <laughs> going against traditions. Cool. Yeah, cool, Yuka says Hanta. Cool place you got here. Uh, I dragons are cool. <laughs> Thinking outside the box, great, haha, <laughs> says Hanta. Yes, right. says the mayor. <laughs> yes, says Hanta to Yuka. What are you? What are you doing here exactly again? What is your? Why don't you just go Father home and like? Father sent me to find you. 
Well, I've been found, so you can go away now. You know where I am. Um, no, <clears throat> says Hanta. You I feel like just you need made a an alliance in an Earth Kingdom civil war. What? Says the mayor. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Well, says Hanta. don't worry about it. Yuka. It's. Mm -hmm. We can't have you gallivanting about making shoddy alliances against the Earth King. What? Says the mayor. No, nothing. Don't worry about it, says Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should find somewhere more private. <laughs> Let's, may we speak in private, says Hanta. The mayor stares for a moment and says, Sure. I'll be around. And it just dips out. Dips her head back in. <laughs> well, Hanta, I made those deals because it was the only option at that moment. And the Earth King is basically, seems to be sending agents to kidnap people and that's not cool so we're going to fight against that kidnap so, who people of the me Earth Kingdom? for one no me i was kidnapped for a little bit and then my friends rescued you weren't there to help me then so you know good luck good do you have any proof good... of this you, what do uh, you mean proof Yuka, Yuka, i'm, I'm Yuka. your sister Anta says uh, when will you learn? The affairs of a state, I suppose, are beyond your, your, your progressive mind. The affairs of your hair are beyond your face. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, he says, and he slocks his hair with some gel. Listen, Yuka, I'm the one who's been trained in the ways of the Earth Kingdom. Of, of the uh, water nation. <laughs> the Earth Kingdom. Wow. Well, that's and not... the Earth Ki and well, <laughs> and the Earth Kingdom. I studied them long under the tutelage of Father, so that I might understand their affairs better. For instance, was was says, this between your slacking off hour and your like lunch hour, and then your hair uh, putting your hair together hour? When did scowl. you like slot that in? He scowls and says, "My." Having having quaffed hair is important in a leader. Yeah, but like I never saw you at the lessons. I don't know when you, I, like I was there. I but, was. But you weren't mastering the octopus. The measure what measuring the octopus? Mastering. Oh. And uh, <laughs> anyways, what what are what were you doing? Flying around with your your friends? No, that was after I took all those lessons. Like I did those earlier. Attacking um, in our my father life. in his own office? He started it. Right. Says You Hunter. know, about 18 years ago. Anyways, 18. I was told to come get you and send you home. Well, you're going to have to drag me by my feet. Or legs. Wait, well, no, the same. You know, I'm not moving anywhere. I'm where we have a thing we need to do. Why don't we take a night to think about this? He says. I mean, well, I'm not going anywhere this night, so sure. Good. <laughs> she, she sort of <laughs> thinks we're well, just like, I guess I got to distract them for a little bit longer. Okay, I mean. Come on, he says to Yuka. Don't you, you your family's honor requires your presence. You're needed back home. Wait. Not here gallivanting about making deals on behalf of the entire nation. He says an NPC is attempting to shift your balance. Will you resist? Yeah. <laughs> is it like towards uh, tradition? tradition? Yep. Well, sometimes it takes a little bit of more of a hands-on approach. Uh, so what I roll? Uh, you can roll, uh, roll a, the roll on a hit, you maintain your current balance. Oh, you just roll. roll oh, just roll. Uh, it's just roll. Or wait, you're denying an NPC calling on you to live up to your principle. So you can yeah. roll with that principle. So roll, uh, roll a plus one, but this is one where you want to fail. Roll 2d6 okay. plus 1. Um, 2d6 plus 1. It's 
go a little bad. Dude. Okay. Yeah! Nice. On a hit, blah, blah, blah. On a miss, you stand strong. Clear a condition, clear one fatigue, or shift your balance. I think you don't have any conditions or fatigue, so you can just shift your balance towards zero. All right, so I'm at zero. Yeah, so I basically just like, well, sometimes, you know, new movement, you, you, you require a bit of more hands-on approach. I'm here on the ground exploring what the people think. And I'm not much use back there, you know. I'm trying to get a source of metal for us so we can build ships to do diplomacy on. Um, and then so that the world can unite in, like, being nice and not warring. Right. I did kind of start a war. Okay, so the war thing wasn't my fault, though. That was, like, kind of forced into it. But, like, I'm learning, and that's good. And I'm, you know, something you've never done. Ooh. Uh, Anta scowls. Uh, I think you inflicted the angry condition on him. <laughs> uh, he Shit, says, we'll that. continue this discussion later. He just stomps out. Where's the yeah. mayor? I want to speak with her about the uh, affairs of state. As I am... Uh, Supposed to do, says a representative. <laughs> <laughs> As I, I just look at the two guards, <laughs> there like... they shrug and look at you awkwardly. Let's uh, let's hey. cut to the mansion exterior. Where uh, wait, actually, are Baraka, are you going? Wait, what are you going to the market to do, Baraka? Uh, I'm getting a sack to make a mask, and I'm buying some yak milk. We don't really need to uh, role play that, I think. Unless you want to do something specific. I don't have anything um, in mind. Why did you did you want to meet with anyone specific? No. Okay. Well, you know what? In that case, here's what we'll do. You. Uh... Evening has fallen. Uh, Ahani uh, yawns and uh, flips a pie show piece in the air with air. Hmm. Are your uh, friend getting back soon? Says Chunyi. No idea. He should be getting back real soon. I mean, it's getting dark. Right. You, uh, so you uh, said you've done something like this before. What? Just stealing, really. Like, I could, I broke into a house and stolen something. I haven't left stolen valley bills before, though. So, why, this, why, uh, this will why, be a new experience. Why'd you leave the Fire Nation? You're bound to get more riches per house there than here, that's for sure. I, I had to leave. Why? To run for my shame. He cocks his head. Interesting. I ran for my shame for ten years, attacking random nobles. And yet here I am with you, finally facing the one who wronged me. It's hard to face the one who wronged you when you're the one who wronged yourself. Gunyi nods. Hurt somebody you love? He asks. Multiple people. What, you rat them out? Ah, <sighs> uh, jeez, uh, Barack, Barack is sure taking forever. <laughs> you don't um, have to answer these questions. 
but you know, from one career thief to another. Uh, these things be, uh, pretty insightful. My shame will stay hidden until I can no longer hide it. I hope you can respect that. Not. Sure. It's the only way I don't have to come to terms with it. Help. Perhaps your friends can help, says Junyi. I've spent... Maybe. I've spent they, ten years alone on the road. They, they wouldn't understand. No, nope. not at all. Be surprised. An NPC is trying to shift your balance towards friendship. Will you resist? Fuck it. Yeah, sure. Why not? You're gonna resist. Okay. Yeah. Just, just do a flat roll. Isn't it plus one? No, he's not calling you out to live up to your principle. He's oh. just shifting your balance. Uh, you fail. Ah. So, they know just what to say to throw you off balance. You can mark a condition, and I shift your balance twice. Wow. Uh, Jun Yi says, I think you should take a better look at the people around you. They're not like the people you knew in the Fire Nation. You have good friends. If you don't uh, help them, they'll never help you. I don't know who you left behind in the Fire Nation, but this might be your chance to start fresh. I'm sure they'd want that for you. Uh, so now you're a plus three friendship. Oh boy. And what else uh, did that do? Just shift it twice? Yep. And you mark a All condition. Right. So I think I'd mark uh, insecure for you. Yeah. Damn. Jun Yi bringing the, the hot, hard hitting <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, and by the way, uh, Yuka and Baraka. You can call, you can always call like PCs can always call each other up to live up to their principle. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know if you ever want to call on Rico to live up to his principle of friendship, he has a plus three in that now. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna do stuff to me. <laughs> He's a super friend. Anyways, you feel this shifting inside you, away from balance. Think warmly of your friends, but almost selfless. Maybe you're right. They are pretty amazing. The door opens and Baraka Poe steps in, carrying uh, three sacks and uh, a jug full of yak milk. Well, it's about time. Oh, I had to get a good one. Uh, I posted a picture of what it looks like. Good. Oh, nice. Put Where? the mask on. In a uh, Hotman chat. Oh, okay. So everyone can see how these guys are breaking in. Completely not sketchy heroes here. <laughs> Right, uh, shall we? Says Chun Yi. Yeah, let's fucking do this. Or let's frickin' do this. Oh Lead boy, says way. Anani. So you head out to the mansion grounds. Uh, which is. You, Chun Yi pulls all of you aside to hide behind 
bushes, you see that there's two guards standing around at the front of the mansion. Hmm. A guard. I guess it's because they have guests. How do you want to do this? Mercer? Oh, by the way, heist moment. Moment of balance moment. Oh my god. What? Oh. I haven't used my... Okay. I haven't used it yet. Do you want to use your moment of balance for this heist? Or, I or do. Or will you wait until, like, you're in a situation? Well, well, let's use, well, let's use it for this heist. Okay. Uh, what is your moment of balance again? Uh, you were the one who told me. Uh, <laughs> it's on your sheet here. Uh, the uh, moment of balance. You learned early on that you had to do what you needed to survive, and that sometimes that meant you lost friends. Now you find a new balance. Rule breaking isn't something that just drives people away. It's something you can use constructively with your friends. Tell the GM how you lead your companions to break all the rules and accomplish an incredible feat. Okay, right. well, I guess you can just, uh, if you want to just take a couple minutes, five minutes, and just describe in detail what you lead your friends to do, that'll be canon. As long as it's, you know, within reason. Of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, this so... is just a free get em. You just get a free get em. Go ahead. Alright, so, uh, Rico tells Ahani to uh pull off a distra uh pull off a distraction with some wind movement. So you know, uh distract the guards and then him and Jun Yi will come up from behind and you know, basically just knock him out. <laughs> and then Well look at this, says Ahani, and he spins a pie show piece. <laughs> <laughs> like a like a top in between his hands. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. say the guards. <laughs> Jun Yi nods to you and then <laughs> right in the back of the neck. <sighs> the guards collapse. Alright, and uh they sneak uh, they sneak in stealthily through the door and uh make make their way towards uh the the mayor's bedroom, of course, to dump the wealth. Uh one sec. One sec. Actually Oh I don't have it. Never mind. Okay, you go into the mayor's bedroom. Jin Yi uh, puts a hand out, stopping you and putting a finger to his mouth. Getting a little bit of echo. The mayor steps in. Yeah, somebody's echoing. FYI. Uh, oh, no more echo. Yes, or was? I don't know. I think it was. Wait, there is, there is echo. From you, Jay. From you, Jay. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Sorry. Speak now. Speaking now. Yep, That's still it. echoing. What the hell? What the heck and heck? Hate when my microphone does that. I think it should be good. Music. Okay, check. It's very slight, but it's still there. But. Uh. I don't know. Uh, anyways, it's like very minor now. Okay, now it's gone. Wait. Well, eh, it's like barely audible. I'll. Should I just turn around and push to talk? <laughs> I guess. Uh, the mayor. Anyways, the mayor enters the room. And. You watch as under candlelight she looks around and hurriedly writes a letter. Like she looks kind of worried uh, before clasping her hands together and dipping back out of the room again. She leaves the letter uh, in a sealed envelope on the desk. And he looks at you as you creep into the room. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm. I have push to talk on now. Uh, so I just see her walk, do this, like writing a letter in the room. Yep, and then walk out, leaving it on the desk. 
uh, after dumping the wealth in a place she cannot, she will not be able to see, perhaps under the bed or something. Uh, he, Rico will also grab the letter curiously. Okay, it's in a sealed envelope. He'll just uh, take it and snatch it for now. Okay. Uh, all of a sudden, passing by the window, comes a uh, one last guard who looks in, sees you standing there with the envelope, and goes, Hey! What do you do? Remember to use your friends. Braca. Uh, Braca now, and uh, because he told Braca when he gives him the signal to knock out a guard with some sort of earth bending technique or boxing technique. Uh, I rush to the window and punch really hard, hitting the dude straight in the head. Bonk! You're standing there the whole time, just as planned from the. Let, let's say, like, he goes, hey, and then, Rico, you just turn and smile at him, and suddenly Baraka's just there off camera and punches him and then nods to you all. Not bad, says Junyi. You are a natural, he says to Rico. Yeah, couldn't do without my friends. Come on, says Ahani. He whoosh, sends a wisp of air towards the window to blow it open and create a gust of wind to cover the sound of you escaping. Dunyi looks around surreptitiously and then uh, sneaks out with the rest of you. Uh, and just like that, without any, without a, without a hitch, Rico leads his friends on a heist into the mayor's room to plant evidence and escape. And, uh... By the, by the time you're done, uh, no one is the wiser. Guards, knocked out, won't remember what happened a minute before. They got knocked out. <laughs> Soon enough, you're back at the tea shop, chuckling to yourselves. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I don't know how you did it, says Junyi. Uh, but you, my friend, are a master. <laughs> it means a lot coming from you, sir. Uh, thanks, says Junyi. You ever thought of, uh... hidden the Earth Kingdom roads? Maybe with the master, he says. Wait, what? What he asks? Sorry. Ever thought of, uh, well, what are you and your friends doing? Says Junyi. Uh, we're heading towards, uh, Bossing Say. I see. Got business there? You could say that. That's fair. Well, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what you had in mind, but, uh, if you'd like, yeah, once we're done here, you're welcome to hit the roads with, uh, old Yang Tzi. You, you mean... Instead? You mean, travel with you and... Hmm. really tempting I, I i'd have to really think about that hey uh your call says jun yi but you're uh, really great at this together we could uh overthrow every aristocrat from uh here to the great desert then live but, a life of splendiferous wealth but and he'll look to baraka and ahani i I, I don't want to leave them behind. If it's what you want. I'll be up for it.
You can't get rid of me that easy, Baraka. I'm sorry, but that's going to be a no. Fair enough, says Junyi. Working alone isn't uh, all it's cracked up to be. That's true. It, it isn't. Anyways, I'm sure whatever you end up doing, you'll, uh, you'll lead them along the way. So, uh, keep it up, says winking to you. All right, well, now we just sleep, and in the morning, fellas, we go out and reveal exactly everything that's happened. So what's that letter say? Oh, yeah. What does that letter say? Oh, uh, let me see. I'll open it up and read it. Uh, it's a letter to the Earth King, informing Ooh. him that there's uh, a rebellion happening with Omashu, and that the mayor is going, has, happens to have two rebels in her midst that she's going to keep hostage in the village until you can send Dai Li to arrest them. Shit. Shit. She knows about the rebellion. What? Says Chen Yi. Uh, we, we... We didn't hear that part, sorry. It, what? Says Chen Yi. She, she's talking about two hostages. You don't think she knows about us, do you? Uh, probably talking about uh, Baraka. her friend and her brother. <laughs> Fuck. Frank. <laughs> We have to. We have to. We have to save Yuka. Uh, but we just. Where are we doing another heist? Says Chun Yi. Well, unless you think she can be arrested tomorrow. Chun Yi shrugs. Your call, fellas. No, oh, let's wait. wait. Oh wait. I intercepted the letter before getting the getting to the king. We're we're, we're fine. The Daily won't come. I mean, you took it from her desk. Yeah, exactly. It, like it didn't it didn't go to the Daily at all. So but she knows that it was taken. Ooh. <laughs> it's up to you. Do we go in now or wait till tomorrow? I mean, we could always just hope the framing just uh, dissolves any power she has and walk him out. Yeah. Do you think she would act on it, act on it now or act on it tomorrow if she found the letter missing? Uh, He's asking uh, Jun Yi. Jun Yi yeah. strokes his beard and says, hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe she'll think she misplaced it. And again, there are unconscious guards. I'm sure she'll figure it out. Possibly. What did we do with the guards? Uh... We just knocked them out. I don't. I mean, unless y'all, unless Jun Yi just had the bright, brilliant idea to uh, put them somewhere. I, I didn't. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> uh, maybe you uh, drop them in. You put them. You literally put them all in their beds. Yeah. 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 They're <laughs> in bed. <laughs> 
says Jun Yi, and we didn't take anything else. Well, that's your call, Rico. Baraka. Flip a shy po piece. What? A pie show piece? Yes, I flip a pie show piece. All right. Go ahead. Roll, uh, roll whatever. Evens, yes. Odds, no. A 1d2. <laughs> a 1d2. Nope. It lands uh, opposite the white lotus, the black oh. lotus, I guess. I'm so cool how the music synced up. <laughs> Yay. Uh, then we wait. All right, says Jun Yi. So in that case, one second. As we cut to... Where Yuka has been boarded for the night. Yuka, your brother stormed off and hasn't returned, but you were led by a servant to a bedroom. Ugh. Well, time for a rest and totally not being trapped here. I have I full trust. Um I suppose is there an, is I'm just it's just my own quarters for myself. Yep, you were given your own room. You hear a gentle knock uh, on the door. Oh, unless you... Wait, are you doing anything in here? No, no, no. no. Okay. So I was just settling in. You hear a gentle knock on the door. Oh, they hey, Mrs. Um, um, yes, yes, of course. Of the... Yes. <laughs> she steps in and sits down on the bed next to you. So, what brings you to the city? Hanta, your brother, right? Said he came here Only to... Only by blood. Right. Said he came here to find you. What are you doing here? Um, you know, I'm exploring the world in an effort to become a better diplomat. I see says a diplomat for whom uh the northern water tribe right so you've been negotiating things with the northern water tribe you came here from omashu well y <laughs> is there well i don't think there's any sort of insight check specifically but what is it like um you can assess the situation of course Roll yeah can i assess yeah assess the situation yeah Uh, okay, you can ask me one question. I guess, like, it, it's, like, possible to just suss out why she's asking all of this. I, as a player, sort of know, but I don't think yeah. Yuka would. You think that she's suspicious of you, especially after your conversation with Hanta earlier. Amashu? Uh, I mean, we may have stopped there on our travels. You know, I've been in a lot of places. Um, I don't see how that's relevant. Is there a reason you're asking? Do you have relatives in a mushroom? Well, of I'm, the just, Muslim, Muslim I'm just concerned about you know, the reasons for your presence here. We don't usually get diplomats. Aside from which, it sounds like... Well, That sounds like a problem, because I feel like diplomats should be aware of all the people. And if you don't get a lot of visitors of diplomats, that's like... You know, it's kind of bad. I feel like diplomats. Of course. You know, maybe course. it's a new wind or new wave. You know, pun intended. <laughs> right. He says. Well, you have a good night, dear. He says to Yuka. Sure. Please, feel free to rest as long as you want. I'll be posting a guard outside your door. Uh, oh, oh, like for my security? To stop you from leaving. Oh. Inter what? Am I, what? 
Am I a prison? Wait. <laughs> Interesting. Um, can I assess again to see if there's just like a way out <laughs> of the room besides? Sure, roll creativity. Wow. Uh, okay, it seems this is was pretty discerning in the room choice she gave because it looks like it's almost impossible to escape, perhaps on purpose. The windows are shuttered and locked. Uh, the, the doors are closed and the walls are wood, solid wood. Uh, however, feeling around the room well enough, you... You push on this plank and that plank, and eventually you find one that kind of bends out, leading outside of the compound, uh, or leading <laughs> outside the wall into the exterior compound. Okay. Seems I'm also a woodbender. <laughs> and I uh, sort of <laughs> bend it and um, just, uh, just like, I guess, make my leave <laughs> and try to sneak out. Compound. Sure. If you do a little water bending, uh, put some water in the crack and then expand it until it breaks open. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um, just slink out, try to find find my buddies. Cautious of the uh, guards around the compound, you notice there aren't any. Oh, interesting. Um. I guess they must have done their plan already. Um, I just... I have a moment where I'm like, hmm. My brother is... Uh, hmm. Should I rescue my brother? <laughs> Doesn't deserve it. You stand at the entrance. Um, the guard is down. There's nobody who could stop you from getting your brother right now except whatever guard is posted in front of his room. Uh, Mother, right? Like, I could. <laughs> he's not going to be able to handle this situation if he's not rescued. I'm going to go save him. Okay. You go re enter and, through of... the front. Once again, nobody's just there to stop you. Except. Um... Standing, sitting at the front entrance. Uh, she looks worried, but she looks up as the front door opens. The mayor. How did you get out of your room? Oh, hey, it's it's me. Uh, uh, the third sibling, twin of Yuka. I'm looking for my brother and sister. I'm looking for my guard. What happened to them? says standing up she well, i don't know i just arrived in town me <laughs> the third sibling <laughs> twin of yuka we're twins that's why my name is uh kuka <laughs> kuka then you're on Hi. even if even if that is the truth i'd put you under arrest as well for what i have no relevance of the, what the situation is i'm just um i'm the musician of the family She, uh, La. She takes it <laughs> plays it above her face. And she looks at you with just eyes and says, The rumors are true, then. You water tribesmen are just as uncouth as they say. I think it's uncouth, but... <clears throat> Do you mock me? No, I'm just... Uh, I'm... Sorry, I have real... I can't... When people pronounce things wrong, it's like a pet peeve. I, I think it's been criticized. Are we? Is it like a comp? <laughs> Are we fighting now? Is that what's gonna happen? Are you she, gonna try? And unless you come willingly, she says. She she fla she like uh, waves her fan and dust starts billowing around her. I don't know, obviously oh, I don't think this. Way. Oh, I don't think there's. Uh... Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I just sort of. Uh... Is, is can I see like I assume there's like some sort of like fountain outside? Uh, there's like spring water and stuff at the entrance. 
uh, around. Yeah, I, I like, I like take that in. <laughs> Arms just swirl around me. Swirl, well, you know, around you. Whenever you're ready. My guards are useless, she says, but the Hurrahs have trained for generations in the way of dust bending. <laughs> dust bending? Oh. Let it's, me uh, show you. It's kind of lame, not gonna lie. Uh, okay, I guess we enter combat. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what approach are you taking? Uh,. I'm gonna I'm gonna advance and attack. Okay, uh one second. Ah. You advance and attack. She takes defend and maneuver. Dust bending's kinda lame. Stuff's all dust down your throat so you can't breathe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. As if I can't do that with water. Take an offensive True. stance, but she says You should learn the ways. Welcome to the Earth Kingdom. There are many ancient arts you probably haven't seen before, she says. But you should not underestimate the one that pervades everywhere. And she, uh, she uses a technique called dust, it's literally called dust stepping. Thin pillars of dust, like, shoot up from the carpet underneath her, and she walks upwards above you moving steadily and suddenly uh she's like high, six feet above you and in a position for a perfect strike she becomes both favored and prepared oh geez. unless you want to mark two fatigue to block her from doing this uh what is uh, prepared oh sorry uh, reading here so uh prepared she you could uh, take plus one to an appropriate roll. Uh, well, she's not going to be rolling, so she just avoids marking a condition. Uh, and also, she gets an additional technique next round. As the dust swirls around her, it starts to form a, like a, almost a, a mini you, dust devil. You guys should, like, dust this place. This, this is unclean. <laughs> I know, but I'm not going to take the uh, two. Okay. You're gonna be Come the on, cleaner, dearie. I guess. Let's see what the Water Nation's best has. Um. So I roll with passion. Yeah. Y yep. Okay. Choose a basic or master technique. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna strike. I'm gonna like take some water and like water plus dust equals no dust. Um, like, it gets... So I'm just gonna, like, try and swipe at her feet to, like, make her fall. Okay, are you gonna mark a fatigue to force a choice for her? Yeah, uh... I'm gonna do that. Okay, so and I'm gonna make her, make her... Fatigue. I'm gonna force the uh, two fatigue. Okay. She has to... Suddenly she moves... She moves elegantly and, uh, sweeps her fan around to send the water here and there as she almost dances upon the dust pillars beneath her. Uh, but she, you see a drop of sweat from her brow as she does so. Hmm. All right, she says. Do you give up now? <laughs> we're, I thought we were just getting started. Right. I was just giving you an out, she says. Fair. I, I mean, you know, we're pretty much even. Uh, all right. She'll take, uh, well, go ahead. You choose the, you choose your approach. Um, I'll strike again. Okay. She also chooses advance and attack. So go ahead. Roll passion. Full success, nice. Well, there you go. Uh, you can choose. Well, you can either use a, a learned technique, or you can choose two different basic or master techniques, or practiced. 
I don't have any Practice. any offensive offensive ones besides fresh. So I'm just I'm gonna. Sh so what I'll do this is, um, I'm gonna strike twice. Okay. And I'm gonna take two fatigue to inflict four fatigue. Okay, nice. You. Whoosh, 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 she dances around in the air as walls of dust play up, and then water sprays into them, and the dust like sucks the moisture out. Uh, but you clearly have her old body <laughs> on the rocks here, as she's not as live as she probably used to be. Nevertheless, with her fan, she slaps, she sends dust flying, slapping blast after blast out of the way. <laughs> well, I see, uh, says the mayor. Not bad after all. You can not like... bad at all. She, she like blows a little hair out of away by her eyes like well your turn right she says uh she does two things she sends she whips her she does a smash so she whips dust around and sends it uh crumbling and like flying behind you until the uh the uh like the, the stones that form the archway and the front door collapse, blocking you in. Can't have you leaving, dear. And then she, just as she says that, she leaps down from her favorite position and out to strike you. Uh, and she'll mark a fatigue to force you to mark two fatigue. Oh, fun. She, whoosh, 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 sends dust, she just whips dust in your eyes. Ah! <laughs> That's rude. What's rude is coming into my home while planning a rebellion and then breaking into my home again to free a rightful prisoner, she says. Well, what's rude is not serving dinner to your house guest and also trapping them. That order. <laughs> she says. Well, do you give up? <laughs> Not a chance. Right. Well, I'm sorry to do this, she says, uh, as she holds up her fan again, this time taking a pose on the ground. Uh, what do you like to do? Um, how's she looking? Like, is there a way to tell? She does look pretty fatigued. Uh, but she's clearly has some fight left in her still. Um,. I am I'm, I'm I'm gonna evade uh, evade and observe. Evade and observe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, she takes the fed maneuver and once again she dust steps up, getting to the high ground again. Dust swirls around the whole room, uh, and she seems to just almost fly to and fro throughout it as the carpets bluster and blister in the fog. <laughs> you find yourself coughing on this maelstrom. Uh, up here, dear, she says. You go. Um, so I'm going to clear one fatigue. Okay. Uh, and then roll with creative harmony. Uh, creative is higher, so go roll with that. So, miss. <laughs> use one you can shift your balance to do one basic if you want um i still clear the fatigue right like it doesn't yep. matter um i can shift my balance to do one or yep you can shift your balance to do one basic uh which direction is that if i'm zero away from center oh oh uh I, you can choose 
I, I think in this case it would be tradition, would... right? Because you're rescuing your brother. I suppose. I do kind of like sticking at zero, so I'm just going to stay at zero. You Okay. Because it's a confused, I think it's confused whether, because I'm kind of being progressive in skating, but it is my brother, so it's like a kind of a balancey sort of thing. Um, yes. You feel torn. Okay, at the end of the exchange, she says, Why are you even rescuing your brother? Us ladies of nobility know that there's much better ways to go about these things. This doesn't... Don't in the Northern Water Tribe, they not even allow you to become a warrior. And yet here you are, fighting more fiercely than your brother ever could. Well, I'm hoping this will show him. And, you know, I'm not rescuing because he deserves it, but because it's... It's not right to leave him... Because he can't handle himself anyway, so, you know. Right. You don't care about him at all, personally? Well, I don't want him to die. So you do care about him? When, you know, in the way I care about... a bug... on the ground. I don't want it getting smushed. But I'm not, like, emotionally... Dead. I just don't want him, you know... He's not... <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the mayor. <laughs> I just, you know... Some grotesque level, I suppose. I want him to, you know, not die. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, says Hanta. Well, don't get used to it. What? How did you get out? Says the mayor. No. All of the guards have been taken out, says Hanta. I don't know why. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take care of both of you myself, says the mayor. And I guess we enter another round. Uh, come on, sis, says Hanta. All right. Now that this I is... know you care about me, you got no excuse to not fight by my side. This is a one-time deal thing only. Right. Uh, yes, no. yes. <laughs> I um, guess I'm gonna I'm gonna advance an attack. Okay. She uh, she takes defend and maneuver, and so does Hanta. Uh, Hanta, of course does so to take his octopus form. So he marks to fatigue. Uh, and <sighs> borrow some of your water to make, you know. You can articles. ask, you know, I will give it to you if you just ask. Thanks, he <laughs> says. Ugh. Uh, he is impaired now, but he can also just automatically strike or and block one attack the mayor for her part um once again drops down well i actually she's gonna continue dust stepping she uses dust step no actually she drops down she does retaliate as she takes a defensive stance she holds out her fan ready to whip any attack back and forth and she also does another technique. She she kind of like takes a strong stance, breathes in, and like her eyes pop up and wide. And I'll sh show you, you'll understand what she just did on your turn. Go ahead, Yuka. Fun, all right, I'm gonna roll with passion. Go ahead. Success. Success. Uh, what would you like to do? She's got retaliate on, so. Uh, I guess I would take that fatigue. Uh... What's the um, matter? Scared? I thought it? you were better than your. I'm brother. reading! <laughs> 
I'm reading. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to think. So with Smash, it would be inflict a uh, fictionally appropriate positive or negative status. Yeah, you change the environment. Uh, For instance, her uh, moving the dust around to uh, block the exit. Um. So if if I try to like inflict a negative status on her, would that be something? Uh, yeah, but mm. you have to say what you do. Like uh, the ceiling I, I, above her or something. Yeah. Or rolling the um, carpet up. Oh, that would be fun. Uh, um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll sort of, um, uh, I'll sort of take some water and, uh, um, yeah, basically slip the carpet from under her and then, like, push it over her. <laughs> With what, like water to make uh, possibly get her uh, um, impaired? Would that be something? Is that impaired or? Yep. Or stunned? Uh, that would be impaired. Impaired, yeah. Uh, and I, that's one fatigue for me as well. For that. Okay. <laughs> she says as she tries to catch her balance. Ha! Nice going, sis, says. Hanta, now I can strike! And with his octopus form, he lashes out. Uh, it's the mayor, but the mayor in a bind turns to him as his uh, octopus tentacle comes out. And the other technique she used is called subtle misdirection. And she suddenly moves the carpet underneath him and he swivels around and acts, and instead of hitting her, strikes you. Oh. <laughs> so, um, I think, do I need to take a condition then? Uh, yeah, he was, he was gonna, he, well, he was gonna make her mark a condition, so yeah, you have to take a condition instead. Probably angry. Angry, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. Well, sorry, says Hanta. I'm trying to help you, and you're, Ow, what are you doing? Says Hanta, she slaps him with a fan, because she also had retaliate. Wow, we're doing great. Ow, says Hanta. Ah, man. Come now, says the mayor. Let's stop playing around. Uh, you are enemy combatants in a hostile state. You've declared war on my king. And if there's one thing the Shrikrinas are known for, it's their loyalty. Well, if there's one thing the Northern Water Tribe is known for, it's... What a bending. <laughs> right, says the mayor. And also loyalty. We also, well, actually, no, not like, well, I'm sort of we're against that. We're like, new ideas. Well, also not, okay. <laughs> Scratch all of that. Just like, big water bending. <laughs> that goes. Uh, okay, Can we enter the next round. Uh, I'm gonna evade and observe this round. Uh, the mayor can't actually do anything this round because she's impaired. Anta has to drop his octopus form. Uh, but he takes he takes advance and attack because he's angry. So he says, Get back! And he just starts slamming her with water over and over. The mayor blocks the attacks, but she's knocked back. Uh, I guess he'll mark of fatigue to force her to take a condition and she'll become uncertain hmm, says the mayor Yuka, you evade and observe so you can get rid of a fatigue and roll creativity or harmony Oop, oh. it's annoying just had the pen out so. there we go and then let's roll with uh, creativity go ahead for success. Um, so what can, which ones can I do with? Because I have a few, I have one practiced um, technique. Yep, uh, if you want to do, you can use your practice technique. Can I only do that if I do use that one though? 
Oh, because Hanta needs to evade and observe, so you can refresh him. Or you can break. Target opposed vulnerable equipment, rendering it useless or broken. Um. You could break your fan. Ooh. That, well, that's a mastered one, though. So if I could do that and then another one with the yep. full success, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll first like, take, take some water um, and, like... Fully flip, like flip it out of her hand, and then like just put it in a puddle, and it's paper, so I guess it just <laughs> breaks breaks apart. Um, that was a priceless uh, heirloom. Was, um, and <laughs> um, and I guess I gotta hinder her. Um, so she's already impaired, right? Uh, well, she broke the impaired now. But it was just one round for that. All right, uh, I'll impair her again. Just like this, I'll I'll <laughs> I'll just slide some water under her feet, basically, just to like get her off okay. balance. She's off balance. But... She can't do anything next round either. You and your brother are are enemies of the Earth nation. Yeah, so... yeah. I've heard it all before. Sometimes from my brother, actually, so. Still angry, Hanta says, let's do this to Yuga. Uh, let's see. Okay, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna strike. Uh, advance attack, sorry. Hanta also advances and attacks, so go ahead. Uh, ooh, sorry, which one is, uh, passion. Come on, success. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, let's just uh, just do two strikes. Okay. Would you like to mark a fatigue to force a condition? Um. Um. I'm always, uh, the mechanics is what I'm figuring out. So she needs to, like, to go down specifically, she needs to, like, she needs lose. more conditions to lose or to go off her balance track. Right. Yeah, you mark a um, to force her to choose conditions instead of changing balance. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'll, I'll mark one. I can only mark one fatigue, so I only do that once, and then the other one she can choose. Okay, she'll take an increase in balance. What's her principle? Uh, Hanta, uh, Hanta will also strike, but he can't mark any more fatigue either. So the mayor takes another step out of balance, but now she has plus two balance, which means she can do three techniques next round. Fun. I'm back, she sorry. Just her balance out of impairment. All good. We're still in the, uh, this fight. Fight the fight and beat. Uh, yeah. She stays steady and says, and breathing heavily goes, I will be old power. You will surrender in the name of the. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Um, I mean, sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to. I just evade and observe again. Just in case. I'll let. Hunter, you just do the striking. I'll do the, you know, better at the supporting role. Right. That's my, like, I'm like a healer type okay. thing. Says Hanta. Actually, Hanta. Okay, I guess since you asked, Hanta will advance an attack and the mayor will defend a maneuver. So first, she dust steps up. Second, she takes retaliate. And third, she seizes a position. Uh, or she readies. No, she can't ready. Okay. She dust steps. And, oh yeah. And then uh, she subtly misdirects. Or she can't. Oh, she, doesn't, she can't take any more fatigue. Uh, I guess she'll seize a position. Uh, standing, <laughs> moving behind you to the door. You will not leave this place, she says. He says, standing over the door, or dust and dust swirls. Right, says Hanta. You guys really need to, like, buy a dust door or something. It's not, like, this is a fire hazard. 
that uh, strikes. She takes plus three on the balance track, so she's almost out of balance. Uh, and then that's that's all he can do is he just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and Yuka. So I clear one fatigue, and then I'm gonna roll with creativity. Ooh, nice. Um, I'm. Mm, 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 mm. So I guess I can. Uh, how's Hunter looking? Like in terms of like, he's am pretty, I able to tell? He's pretty fatigued. He's pretty All right, I'll 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 take that extra fatigue. I'll take that fatigue back to heal. Uh, to use refresh on him. Um, he's so not, he clears. He's not evading and observing as well. Oh right, right, right. That's oh, that's my bad. I always forget that bit. Uh, in that case, I'll just. Uh, I was gonna have, um, but then you told him to strike. Right, <laughs> that's my bad. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hinder her. Can I like? Because it's like a full success. I guess I could hinder two things on her. Like if I could impair sure. and stun her. So I'll, I'll, I'll do the like sweep the legs again, and then like. Her with a water whip on the head, just stun her. She falls down, unable to block your attacks with her fan. Kind of just oh, falls down. She can't. I had her to retaliate, but you broke her main weapon. This she feels mean now. It's an old lady. <laughs> Breathing in front of the door. Will not leave, she says. And we enter another one, probably the last round. Hanta says, get out of the way, old bat. Just be respectful to all, all, all the folk. They've been here longer. Hit her, says Hanta. All right, attack. <laughs> Advance and attack. Okay, yeah, Hanta advances and attacks in the mayor. Uh, her fan's gone. She can do a bunch of maneuvers, but all she can really do is retaliate. Or she can't even retaliate. Uh, I guess the mayor will evade and observe. She can. Uh, All right. Yeah. Hanta. Okay. Go ahead, Yuka. Roll passion. Nice. Yes. Just want to strike yes. twice. Strike. Strike twice. Okay. Shh. And uh, I would recommend forcing her to go off balance. Uh. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. You just take it. Beat her down over and over, and Hanta joins in, slapping her over and over again with the water. Uh. No. I'm the most I guess as a, in this city. As, a, as a final move, I just take like a big blob of water, just like roll overhead and just like swish on the ground to like make the entire like all the dust <laughs> go. <laughs> just clean the place, basically. Yeah. You clean the place. My dust, she says. You re this is not like a good thing to have this much dust in a place. Like it's genuinely like it's bad for breathing. If people have allergies here, like you just really don't you you don't want to do like Silence. just clean that up. You don't you, know no, you're... what I've done to get to where I am. I've I've I, I, I murdered my own husband. She says. Wow. Okay. Oh, That's a... says Hunter. It's not like you'll you... ever prove it. Says we weren't even interrogating you, and you just said that. <laughs> and I'll kill anyone. Who gets it in my way? Anyone, mm -hmm. says the mayor. Uh, okay. Well, too bad. Because you're not going to be able to have a... Be able to do that. Because we have a witness. <laughs> Won't you take pity on a poor old lady? Whoa, oh, it's way pa There's no need to... Ah! And she, like, claws at him. Like, yeah, don't... No, she's... She's using the old lady card, oh, which okay. is like a very powerful vendor. Yeah, uh, so it's way past that point. Um, I guess I don't know. We don't really have jurisdiction here. Um, because we just. Anta, I guess we'll. Anta says, "Come on, let's just." Uh, he like moves his hands around as ice, binding her hands together with ice. Where, where are we gonna take her? Uh, I don't know. Says Hanta, away from here. Where it... oh, I suppose. Uh, where, where are your guards? Are they alive? You brought uh, two guys in. No. Oh, right. I forgot. He says. You okay. forgot? 
You, you know those could have been very useful in that fight fight we just had. Sir, they say, <laughs> saluting. Take her out to oh, the town God. square, says Hanta. We'll wait till the early morning and make an announcement. This woman committed murder. She killed her own husband. Did it right to us. He nods to Yuka. See, this is how you do leadership. Oh, you're welcome, by the way, for rescuing you, you know? Yeah, thanks, says Hanta. Yeah. I mean, uh, he looks at the guards. He licks his lips, and he says, I, uh, sorry, genuinely, uh, thanks. Maybe I underestimated you, Yuka. Hey, maybe you're not such a complete waste of air, water, sipping. Right, says Hanta. I could, you know, that octopus thing is kind of cool, actually. I really do want to learn that. <laughs> I can teach it to you. <sighs> we'll get there someday. <laughs> Uh, okay, you exit out into the village, and I, you know, it, it is the early morning, like, it's, uh... This was a long night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, like, in a fight, and you tried to escape, and, uh... Oh, the dawn is just breaking. You step out into the town square, and also waiting there, ready to make their own announcement. Are Yang Tsi and your pals. Oh, hey guys. Um, um, ladies, evil. We know, says Yang Tsi. Oh, good. Okay. Hello, um, Mayor. Your... Okay. Oh, Hello. yeah. Uh, did we? Did you what? Rico? Did we lose any fatigue from... Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. You rested. So I guess you can clear three fatigue, Rico. Not so much for Yuka, who Sweet. fought through the night. You know, see, long see both, particularly Yuka is just covered in dust. Jeez, what happened to you? Um, well, this lady. Um, we had a little bit of a Scuffle. She tried to trap us and kind of, I assume, kind of get us killed. Um, so you know, but um, uh, we were going to make an announcement for their village about it. So yeah, how did your guys? Yo, friends get on. with the infamous Yang Si. She interrupts. Scoundrels. Well, I mean. Friends is a strong uh, he word. Said he, was, he, he said he was friends with you. What are you talking about? What? No, I'm not friends with Lang Tsi, the thief. Enough. You are a you are a criminal, says Hanta. You, you admitted to murdering your husband in front of me and my sister. Yeah. I, that's, you can't prove that, says the mayor. We can prove a few things, says Lang Tsi. He looks around as a crowd has started to gather at the bazaar, like at this, their mayor being appropriated by waterbenders, and the infamous thief Long Si standing there with a bunch this of is not how it looks. on their heads. What are the potato sacks? What's, what's going on with the potato sacks? That's the sacks they I wore. Imagine we're not still work. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, ma I imagine we're not still wearing them. Well, Rico's wearing something around his face, but he's yeah. not wearing a potato sack. I'm not with the group. I'm in the crowd. Okay, right. Uh, Ahani's standing with you in the crowd. Ahani um, says, We got this to Baraka. Right, so basically, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Yuka. She waits for a response. Hi, <laughs> Yuka. Okay. Um, so this is your mayor, right? Um, she tried... Well, she admitted to killing her husband. And she was like, 
Uh, she also tried to trap us here, um, which was uncool. Uh, so we're not like taking over. This isn't like that sort of thing. We're sort of, you know, it's up to you guys what happens now because it's your village. We're just letting you know uh, if you want to let it go. That's, you know, up to you. I would advise against it. Uh, me and my brother here uh, fought her for a while because she attacked us. Uh, and also, Langsy had, I think, something to say as well, maybe. She admitted to murdering her husband, says Hanta, just, just for the record, right in front of us. Yeah, we were there, both of us. <laughs> murmur, murmur, some some people next to you, Ahani and Baraka, say, I thought, I thought Yangtze did that. Yangtze did that. Murmur, murmur. It is true, says Langtze. I murdered the mayor's husband, but with her collaboration, right? No, this is impossible, says the mayor. If you don't believe me, says Langtze, you can go search her the mattress in her quarters. You'll find goods stolen from nobles yesterday by me, Langtze. And my friend here, uh, Reek C. Reek C, <laughs> yes. The metal inspector. Yes. Ha ah, ah, ha, says Long C. Ah, not. It's, oh, it's it's like a pun about gold, because you're a thief. The metal inspector, because you got it. Right? Yes, yes. I inspect the metal I steal. Hmm. This is this is ridiculous. And I'm yeah. not like that super cool guy Rico, who also goes by the metal inspector sometimes and travels with Team Teacup. No, but he's wind. an actual metal inspector. Like he, it's yeah, like yeah, that yeah. That guy, metal. that guy's an actual metal inspector. I'm, I'm Re Rigsy. It's, it's a, it's a common, uh, it's a common thing, uh, misunderstanding. The somebody totally, leans totally. in behind Baraka and says, "What are they talking about?" I have no idea. <laughs> the devil devilishly handsome Rico that I would bed any day. I, I think the mayor is evil. Just like those two bandits in front of us. Y yeah, says um, Ahani. Uh, evil mayor. Evil mayor, says Ahani. Looking around. I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> Down with the mayor. Down with Earn the, the witch. Earn the <laughs> witch. Down with the establishment. Uh, Baraka, make a... Make a... Uh, well, somebody... Okay. I guess... Who's leading this trickery? Is it Rico? Rico, you can roll to trick creativity, or you can use your roguish charm if you'd like. Uh, and you'll get a plus two from, like, all your allies helping you here. Yeah. Or plus three. I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with creativity either way. So, okay. So plus three. Yep. And plus. If I fail, it wasn't meant to be. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Down with the mayor. Down with the <laughs> mayor. They cheer. Okay. Come on. Yeah. And like like a a group of men surge forward into the mayor's palace. No. What? Guard! Stop them! Wait, where are the cards? Says the mayor. I, the brave Langsi, stopped them so that you could be implicated, Mayor. <laughs> no! And uh, sure enough, after a couple minutes, the men come out holding up a bag of gold and, like, the pins of the nobles. It's true. We found it under the mattress. Down with the mayor! Down with the mayor! cries everybody. All right, I'm hoping we can organize a sort of very like official trial where we get burn the, the establishment. Okay, burn interesting. The burn the mayor. Um, no, I burn. I this it is. It, she's not a witch. I mean, not that I think witches should be burned. I mean, not that I think witches exist in a world of. I mean, we're kind of maybe I'm a witch because I can do magic. Burn the and, establishment. Burn the establishment. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Um, well, you know, I'm just gonna leave. 
the, sh the sugar freezers have drooled over this village for generations. You can't just get rid of me. Ah. Yeah, but maybe the same people shouldn't rule. So here's this thing called democracy. <laughs> like starts going. Yeah, I don't want to cry somebody husband? from the crowd. Let's take the mayor. I thought your husband. Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna take this mayor all the way to Ba Sing Se and try her for her crimes. Uh, maybe don't go there. Maybe go like here, or Amashu. We That's take closer. Her to Amashu. Amashu. Yes, Amashu's Amashu closer. Is much closer. I no. Was... Yeah. What? Omashu. Why Omashu? Well, because it's nearby and uh, has uh, a, a, the person there, and they have a court. Pretty sure. Haven't you heard the legends, Mayor? It's a long, long way to Ba Sing Se. That's not a legend, that's a song. <laughs> long see Pat's Rico on the back. Ah, uh, good times. He takes, he like just walks up and like snatches the bag from the guys holding it. And walks out and says, since the mayor no longer needs this and the nobles are gone, to the people, he cries. And he throws out the sack of wealth. Coins Maybe you should, everywhere. like, not do that and, like, put it in a chest and a fund for the city. To the people! Oh. Okay. The, <laughs> this this city, this village is now yours. Take, everyone, what you need that has been hoarded by Mayor for, for so long uh, in her mansion. Uh, uh, Langsy, Langsy, you're what? creating what is called officially a power vacuum, and that's, like, a really bad thing. If you're not setting up... A new sort of system of governance. You're just gonna get the next ladies you must and take over and create even worse. Did you not study politics? Eyes narrow behind his mask, and he says, "Whatever, noble. Maybe you should better understand anarchist methods of distribution." Long -tier, well, I'm not he says. Okay, well, I'm backflips you, you... off of <laughs> off a roof and jumps over the walls. Okay, bye. Right, the people okay. already like have already surged past you while you've been explaining this to them into the mansion. Well, I tried. <laughs> I walk over to Baraka and how do you in the Anta, Anta says, "Help the help the people escort Mayor to Amashu to be tried." Says Anta. They nod. No, this. I'm the most powerful dust bender in the world. That makes me very strong, she says as she's led away. Well, that could have gone worse. And it did you know, of all the bad things uh, that could happen where they did something. I I got I gotta go. I Rikus have got to go. Uh goodbye. Halt, thief! Ah, Rats. Hey guys, what I, I miss, Rico. Comes hey, it's back. our friend Rico, a totally it's, different person. It's the dashingly handsome Rico, the metal inspector. I've heard so much oh, about you. Yes. Dashing, since we last met. Dashingly handsome, brother. I didn't know you swung yeah. that way. Well, if I mean, you're you're not so bad yourself, Hunter. He's got okay, I fully hair. don't support this. Okay, I. Mm. Well, so. <laughs> is your brother coming with us to Ba Sing Se? Yes, of course, says Hanta. I am, after all, the official representative of the Northern Water Tribe. And you, guys, okay. is my well, assistant. You... My proud, mm, and I'm well, proud you... to have her you... along with me, he says. I'm my not okay with this. Well, you and me can get to uh, know each other a little more, Hanta. This Great. is hell, says Hanta. Yeah, this this eyebrows. is the worst experience of my life. I don't think you're the... ready for octopus form, but maybe I can teach it to you. You can't do octopus form with flame hands. You're going to burn yourself. Yeah, whatever, <clears throat> Yuka. Says Hanta. Maybe I... you have a Flaming lot more tentacles. That would, be, that would be something to see, though. Yes, it would be the final thing you see when your arms are burned off. Can I? When my pants are burned off? Whoa, I didn't know me and Hanta would get, be getting arms. that close. Arms! Can I do air oh, tentacles? God. Says Ahani. Sure, says Hanta. And right. But first of all, says I Hanta, mean, maybe... we got to work on everybody's hair here. Oh, Especially yours, the, no, he the says chops to Ahani. Are, the chops are saying, man. The chops are saying. 
the chops are staying. I'm talking about him, he says to Ahani. Hey, you kind of oh. look, Hanta. You gotta like respect people's like, uh, like you're. It's. I give you a lot of shit about your hair. Um, I guess you know that's like a sibling thing. It's but people should have the right to do whatever they want with their hair and not be called out. If someone asks for advice, then you can give it, but you can't just like give it non prompted because that's just rude. I mean, a cool. honey would, would, would look, Hanta, would look pretty cool with an up. afro. That's what I'm saying, that. says Hanta. I like the way you think, he says to Rico. You hey, ever thought about I mean, joining the Northern Water Tribe, my friend? I've been there a couple times. Cool. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> oh, we're leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what apparently. was that song you were singing? It's a long, long way so, to... A long, long way to... <laughs> you could just but wait the for girls in this city. They're <laughs> you could wait for a few seconds as everybody else exits the gate and just like, <laughs> just a face of dread and is like, okay, <laughs> and just like follows. <laughs> and that's the end of this session. <laughs> what a tale! What a tale was told. Good work on your mission, framing the mayor. And now you have a new ally with you, your favorite. I, um, it's such a fun thing to do is me, but I'm making this poor girl suffer so much. Yuka? <laughs> just the, yeah, you could just like having all the worst people around her. We're, uh, the, we're the reason she went full traditional. <laughs> yeah, maybe progress is not that great. <laughs> Maybe actually, <laughs> maybe how it was before is okay. Uh, okay, as, as per usual, we'll ask some growth questions at the end of the session. Did you learn something challenging, exciting, or complicated about the world? Uh, well, I think every, we learned everything last session, didn't we? Yes. So I, I yeah. don't, eh. uh, did you stop a dangerous threat or solve a community problem? Yes. 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 And yes. Finally, a, finally, a fully yes for that question because it's usually like, ah, maybe. Did you guide a companion towards balance or end the session at your center? You did, Yuga. Yay! I've I've received growth now. I'm at four again. Nice. Now for the character specific ones. Did you indulge in a bad habit with a friend? You did, Rico. Actually, Very technically, so. technically that. You should have gone off balance during your moment of balance, which is kind of weird to think about. Wait, really? Because when you indulge in a bad habit with your friends, you shift your balance towards friendship. Oh, but oh, shit. but you didn't actually you don't actually need to do that because you rolled with moment of balance. So never mind. You're good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So with that in mind, we're just gonna. Ask the questions. Did you get a friend to join in or approve of one of your bad habits? Yes. Yes, he did. He pulled off a heist without yes, a hitch. Yes, he did. Both uh, Yuka and Baraka have grown. I have not grown yet. Uh oh, are you you're only at three? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh we don't you are you're already at full growth, but it's always worth asking these questions anyways. Yuka did you learn something meaningful or important about your lineage, its members, or its effects on the world and others? Hmm. No, not really. No. Although, technically, you and your brother just... I mean, you, you started, like, a formal rebellion uh, in, in Omashu, but now you, you are agents of the water, Northern Water Tribe walking through the Earth Kingdom, overthrowing local aristocrats so you're effectively reading leading a rebellion right now yeah by accident the accidental rebellionist that's the name of love it uh yeah uh okay and last but not least baraka just to ask did you make progress towards your goal against your adversary kind of kind of you're reading a rebellion against them so yeah uh Okay, that's it. So I guess 
Baraka and Yuka, you have both grown again. Would you like to take anything? I'm going to take my moment of balance. But... Nice. What is your moment of balance? Is that a... Um... May I never escape know. the legacy of your family, but balance allows you to learn from them without defining yourself in their image. You call upon a resource of your family to innovate a new solution to an intractable problem, never forgetting who you are in the face of incredible danger. Tell the GM how you knock down obstacles that seem impossible to overcome and save the day. Well, we'll see when that happens. But I think it makes sense now that I'm finally, for the first time, at zero. <laughs> yes. Balance. And you have your uh, brother with you. Yeah, I'm slowly making, like, coming to terms with, like... Just, a, just an idea, but maybe you have, like, some sort of special sibling bending you you just unlocked. Um, do something amazing. I don't know. That some, might be, some ancient that modern nation technique. I do, I do love it when, like, just having that, like, rivalry then become, like, okay, like, we gotta work together. It's gonna be super fun. Yeah. Just, like, it's... it's Greedy character stuff. It's really meaty, you know. It's like yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, Baraka, I'm going to go for raise a stat. Okay. I'm gonna raise uh, creativity, focus, or harmony. By the way, I like how Yuka has to be the ba basically the mother of all these rambunctious children. Now. <laughs> Yeah, she's just like, oh, it's like, I'm imagining just like a, you know, a dog walker with like six different like dogs all going in different directions. Like, God damn it. Help. Help. Literally children on a leash. One of them has really good hair for some reason. One of them just like burning something in the corner. Um, That's either Barack or Rico. If it's like a, a aristocrat, then it's probably Barack. <laughs> just like I just love that she's like total chaos, like burn, burn her, <laughs> uh, and that's the end of the session. Burn them so here. See y'all next week for the next step of the journey through the Earth Kingdom. It's been oh, totally. great so far. Good, good times, good plays. I think, uh, I think the next step is we're really going to be focusing more on Baraka's backstory for the next few sessions. Yeah, so it needs a little more, and we as. Rico's like slowly having his backstory unraveled, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anyways, good sesh, y'all. I'll see y'all next week. Uh, oh, yeah. Who we thank you, anybody, everybody who tuned in or is watching this on YouTube. Thanks for uh, keeping up with the series. We'll be back next week. And uh, you can uh, remember to tune in on at Wednesday at 1 p.m. for some regular D&D Total Improv. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Uh, as per the usual, we'll finish this off with a raid of somebody. Oh yeah, we'll just we'll just send a little raid to Orion over here. Send him a little love. So, see you Wednesday, Bulbasaur. Thanks for tuning in. And bye, bye, folks. Remember, it's improv, baby. It's improv, baby. Woo. Woo. Okay. And boom. There we go.